Welcome to 7 Trumpets Preppers, and in this video today, guys, I'm going to show you how to install a pivot mount, or what many people refer to as a portable wind turbine mount. So let's check it out now. For this build, guys, you're going to want to have safety glasses, obviously, that I already have on. Hard hats wouldn't be a bad idea, although I've done it with and without hard hats putting the turbine mount up before. But if it falls and cracks you in the head, it's your liability, not mine. Gloves, hammer, uh, adjustable wrench, concrete drill bits, level, drill, uh, adjustable wrenches and sockets, and um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I have missed. A shovel, obviously, to dig for the concrete, and you're going to need your concrete. And I will get into the fasteners here shortly because I want to specifically cover that. But other than that, that's all the tools and things you'll need pretty much to get this project going other than the pole sets and the cables. Okay, guys, so what I've got going on right now is I've got the uh, area that I'm going to dig out for the turbine mount. I've got it about 12 feet, 10 or 12 feet away from uh, the greenhouse where the power is going to feed to. And I went with one of these plastic industrial tubs uh, for... I'm going to be like the layout trim around that and I'm going to fill that full of concrete down in the ground and I'm going to leave that up the ridges around that about an inch up so that when I weed eat and stuff it's easy to keep this maintained and maintenanced and um, anyway as far as the conduit and stuff that goes in I'm actually going to run that up uh, separate from the pole since it's a portable mount so it'll actually come up beside that when I dig that out and I'll show you that here um, later. Uh, in the build process because we're going to just do the turbine that's the main focus today is just showing you how uh, to install a portable turbine so anyway i'm going to get that dug out and put some concrete in it and get that into place okay now guys at this point as you can see right here i've got it level and uh, i've also laid that level in there on its side so that if this is tilted any we want to make sure this is perfectly level uh, all the way around because what will happen is if we're not right on the money, um, the turbine will be kind of an angle and it will put friction against the turbine head. And eventually over time, that'll cause turbine, uh, your turbine to have failure. And so we don't want your components to fail. You've got to have a good foundation, just like we all should have a good foundation in Maasai. We need to have a good foundation with our turbine too. So get this leveled up here all the way around, get some concrete in, we're ready to rock and roll. Now you can see right there that I've got it level now. It's just about right on the money. Now, don't worry if you use a um, something for a form on the sides. Sorry about the noise of the dogs in the background. I'm doing this in the backyard. But um, if, if you're not exactly uh, right on the money on the sides, don't worry so much as to that as that to where your bracket's going to go. And I'll show you that just here shortly after we've uh, looked at it there at the beginning of the video. But, you know, you only need that space right there that's got to be really right on the money. That's the critical part. So I'll show you that here in just a minute. Okay guys, now once that you have your concrete pad ready to go, what you're gonna do then is you're going to drill that out for your mount. And this is what the mount looks like from a Laco. This is the bottom section. I'll go through each of the sections here in a second. But as you can see right there, it's got a 3 8 size hole in it. And uh, you could drill that out further to a half inch if you wanted to. Um, that's totally up to you, but 3 8 works fine, and this is the wedge anchors that I use. They're 3 8 in diameter by 3 inches long. That's plenty enough to hold this in place, because really all you're needing to do is just get a, a, it anchored down. It's not really the fact of um, it moving a lot. It's just the fact of getting it a good foundation, so that'll do fine for that, and you're going to drill that out, obviously, with the appropriate drill bit um, that is for masonry. All right, and for concrete. Now, here is the uh, next pole section right here. And then the second to last pole section is right here. And sorry about the dogs barking again. Once again, I'm working in a backyard. And right here is the eyelets. Now, I use three um, uh, instead of four uh, leads coming off to anchor this. Um, and I will show you why here in a little while as that it makes it very easy for just a few people to raise this thing up. And the last section I'll cover in a minute with the turbine head on it and show you how I wired it all together and everything. But at this point, the next step you'll see is I'm going to drill this out, get this anchored in, and tilt this pole down. And then I'm going to start uh, 
putting the head mount on it with the turbine and running the wire through each section and then securing that and then at that point we'll raise it okay guys so i've got the blade set painted and um, this is going to be a seven blade setup on this one so um, it should get very good uh, torque in the wind and that's the raptor blades um, from missouri wind and solar and now i want to say something about painting today if i was doing this for a client i would be livid today um, because I didn't primer this like I do other stuff I primer it then I paint it this right here this Krylon it says it's a uh, paint plus primer That is a load of garbage. It's just paint and it ran on some of the uh, blades here I don't like how that ran uh, It just frustrates me if I was doing that for a customer or a client I'd be taking that off there and redoing it. But anyway, um, that's the blade set we're going to use as a seven blade and right here uh, is the uh, freedom turbine Right there, stars and stripes. And now what I've done is I've already got it wired, the uh, three wires coming off. Um, got that wire to go down the rectifier. And if you don't know how to do this, I've got a whole series on a complete wind turbine install. The only thing we're doing in this video today is really focusing on uh, the mount, uh, how to do a portable mount or a pivot mount. And anyway, I've got the slip ring. Everything's already in place. And I've got that painted blue. And I think that turned out really good. Um, I'm really impressed with how that turned out. But... Um, Anyway, what I'm going to do now is once you have your wire ran through, I didn't put the free spinner on this um, because later I will probably take that down and do a video just how to do that and install uh, the free spin on that so that uh, you don't have to worry about your wire getting bound up in this turbine um, or doing that in your pole. But for today, I'm going to run this wire down through there. Um, you run it through the first one once that you get your turbine head on. And then you will run it through over here on the pole that has your guy wires coming off and then through the extension section and then down to your final to your mount section and so i'll get that put together we'll get it propped up here ready to go up and then i'll show you how it's going to go up because what we'll do then is i'm going to run uh, a mount over here behind the greenhouse one over here to the back side of my fence and then one kind of out right here in front of john's swing set and uh, that way whenever i put the portable ground mount solar unit I can park it right here, I already have the angle, solar angle and everything set for it. And I'll run the wire over here to the junction box. Run this down uh, from a new style box that I'm gonna do, show you how to run that uh, in another video. And then I'll bring it all over and power the greenhouse with it. Okay guys, now at this point in the build, as you can see, a prepper is thrifty. Just like in scouts, scout laws, there you go. I used uh, a very thrifty today. I used my child's swing set as a brace since that I'm doing this by myself. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, what I would encourage you is to get a step ladder, about an eight footer, and you can prop that up long enough to work on it by yourself up to the point where you'll need help. But I just used the swing set today. I'm being lazy. Um, now, what we can do right here is you can see that at this point you can lift the turbine mount. We've got the wire fed all the way through. And like I said, I'm going to run that over to a box that will be brought up separate. So I'll put wire loom over that to protect that and coat that cable further. At this point, you want to get your guy wires set over to the area. Stretch them as far as that you can to that area so that when you get ready to secure it, you're not wasting time. And at this point, what you can do now is you can put your blade set on. Make sure to tighten the lock ring very tightly because if you don't and the blades get loose, it'll ring your shaft off, okay? So you've got to be very careful with that. Once that you get that tightened on, you're ready to go up with it, and we'll show you the next step after that. Okay, guys, now, what me and my wife done is we lifted this by ourselves. We just propped it up on the swing, as you've seen a minute ago, and we just walked it up, and then one of us held it while the other one put the stakes in, and uh, i.e., my wife held it for a moment while I put the stakes. So it really can be done with two people as long as that is a single PMA mount. I would not, uh, I would not in any way advise putting a dual mount PMA up on one of these unless you just absolutely have to because it really stresses the mount if it's a large one. With that said, there is another way of putting this up. Is if you don't feel comfortable just walking the pole up, you can take an eight foot ladder and you can use this as a pusher because what, what you have going on here is that will start the lift and then you can help walk it up, the one person in front of the other, because this is only a 20 foot tower. Now a 30 foot tower can become a nightmare. You need to actually hook a, a lead to a vehicle and pull it while others are guiding it. There's a couple different ways of doing that with a tractor as well. But this is the most simple way to do this for a 20 foot mount. And as you can see right here, now some of the poles don't want to seat exactly at the moment. Once the wind kicks in, 
that will help seat that into place. Now don't get me wrong, the poles will always be a little bit loose. That's just the fact of putting pipe together just like putting a tent up. But nevertheless, it'll work and this will give power for our greenhouse until we decide to move one day to our new location. Now the instructions come with the turbine as to how to put these fasteners on, but pretty much what it is, you run the cable through at the eyelets up there, tighten that down. Then you come down here at the bottom, you run the cable through, put your eyelets through, tighten that down, and make sure to run it through the eye bolt here. And what I've done is I got these stakes at Home Depot, drilled it out to the appropriate size, stuck it in, hammered it down. Now what I'll do eventually is come back and put in some screw leads. Uh, once I get the, the poles actually seat good and I know exactly where I need to put it, I'll come back and put the screw leads in and that sucker right there will be rock solid. So guys, right there's the finished product and the poles have pretty much set back into place where they need to. And so uh, I'm gonna get some input here from the wife since I built this for her as a gift for a greenhouse. What do you think? You like it? I love it. it? Right on. Uh, the, the solar mount, now I'll do a video about that because I'm going to add that to her wind turbine, do the solar mount, and I'm going to help it power her greenhouse, and I'm going to feed some down to the house uh, to help with our backup power. So there's the finished result right there. One more step toward an off-grid greenhouse. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, it doesn't take many parts to do this. It doesn't take a lot of time. It can be done in one day as long as you already have the concrete put into place. Just be safe. Wire your proper safety equipment, have an extra helper because you cannot do this project alone. This is a team project. So until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.